Come on, I need some sun, sun, sun. Come on, Berlin, give me some sun. Schmoch der Sonne, bitte. Oh, yes. Sonne. Mm. I love me a window seat. As I look through the window, I always daydream about my future endeavors. I must say, this keeps me going. I cannot wait to explore so many things and also to explore myself and discover myself. I won't lie, this keeps me going. And this is what life is about, right? So yeah. Get your window seat. <laughs> to berlin with me oh my goodness i'm so excited to be here because it's my first time in berlin i've learned a lot about berlin uh through my german course um there's this like other course that you have to do uh with b1 b b1 b1 um about you have to learn about the history of germany and also berlin there's like a historical story so it's quite interesting and fascinating for me to be here actually and i learned about the east and the west berlin and ah oh, the berliner mawa the museums and so forth there's so much things here but i don't have much time so i'm here for the weekend i cannot wait to explore berlin uh, i just have one important thing to do here with the embassy and then after it's time to explore and yeah um yeah so baby will show me around it's not baby's first time here probably we might meet his family member today or tomorrow and yeah i want to see berlin actually what's funny here what i like about berlin people they are quite cool here you know like hip and cool i see with the dressings it's quite different to hamburg 
you know like they they always be like these long coats here yeah, classes edgy look hippie edgy look which is quite cool people express themselves how they want yeah i cannot wait and yeah let's explore Berlin. so so yesterday we only had a day in frankfurt so we only had to eat something and have watch a movie uh, it's out in the cinemas called uh, Dragons und Dungeons and Dungeons and I watched it in German which is quite cool it was some words of course I didn't understand everything but I'll say 70% or 80% I could understand yeah but I could ask baby what does this word mean but you know what with movies it's just you understand the whole concept but just some some vocabs you don't understand so with this movie what I've learned about this movie I always ask myself, you know, myself sometimes or sometimes my husband. So what's your takeaway or highlight about this movie? So for me, this Dragon and Dungeons movie that's out in the cinemas, my takeaway is in life, stick to your words and stick to who you are. Sometimes you can do something that you think it's good, but... For the other party it might not seem that way they might never understand that so i'll just say a little bit um something about this movie so this father tried to save his wife so he had to go somewhere into this dungeon to get this certain thing a key or like a magic key let's say to save his wife but he got caught baby was gone but he got betrayed at the end with this friend and yeah, it's a long story, but I won't spoil it for you. But I want to say in life, snakes will always reveal themselves, you know, in life, no matter what. You know, people can try to pretend to be nice to you, but if they're disguised as snakes, they'll always reveal themselves somehow, one or the other. But what I, uh, what I really love is about this man. He was honest. He st stick to his word and he never gives up. In love do not give up even you feel like you feel like giving up there's no option b do not give up but i just watched this movie i really like it Berlin like it's all new for us and it looks clean here where we are seriously people say like it's dirty but where we are at this moment I feel like it's really clean and look at this also look at here it's quite cool what is that? Gender. Gender Marie, are we going here baby? Uh, by Charlottenstrasse huh let me show you guys
like really oh, go in the middle. Oh, Finally, I'm here. Oh my god, love it, love it. So, baby, can you tell us more? Okay, <laughs> you said John Kennedy was here and he yeah. did a speech, and he said, Tear down the wall in front of the Ban Boga tour. And a few yeah. years later, or many years later, the the, the wall between East and West Germany fell. It's nice. And then yeah. it was a very emotional. Many people went through the Brandenburger Tor wow. with their Trabis, those old Eastern cars, mm -hmm. East uh, German Have cars. It was beautiful. Mm -hmm. no, it's uh, like it's like the biggest symbol of German history to me, to myself. Everybody yeah. has maybe different thoughts. It's For so me, this is here. like the Petersdom. Yeah. I've learned about this and this is it. Wow. It's Isn't quite that nice. It's nice. The four horses. Yeah, you have to go through once. Yeah. For me, it's now a sign of democracy. It's a sign oh. of freedom. It's a sign what we all stand for here for that every single person has a voice and counts. Not like what other nations at the moment try to do. Look at this, nice. Beautiful. So cool. Look at this awesome. Like this, but this is really beautiful. I like it. But also, can you see if there's South African? Let's see if there's South African wine. Let's see if. So that's like the Holocaust Museum or the Holocaust Memorial. It is very close to the German Reichstagsgebäude, where is the German Parliament, the Bundestag inside, very close to the Brandenburger Tor. This shows the importance of this memorial and what the Germans have done um, to the Jewish society during the Second World War. So this is how we remember about what happened and that it hopefully never happens again. And um, yeah, that's supposed to be a very quiet place, very sad place and um, to respect it, don't step on it. I also don't touch, just uh, be respectful to those memorials and, and let's hope that those things never happen again.
Now going back to Hamburg. Yeah, see you next time, Berlin. Cheers.